Hi honeys, how's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Okay, y'all know I had fish yesterday from sharks. And I had already thawed out some fish to air fry. So it was in the refrigerator, so. I'm just not getting around to rinsing it off and patting it dry. So I'll be fixing this in my air fryer. Well, in my Ninja Foodie Extra Large Grill. So, you know what I told you about yesterday? About how to leave the Purple Heart and everything. I have to go over to my Miss Brazil's Reflections. That's my blog page. Leave a comment on any of the, I think there's only six blogs I've written. Leave a comment anywhere, which a lot of you have done, but a lot of you are showing up as anonymous. You left the purple heart and the comment, but I don't know who you are. So please let me know who you are, okay? And what else? That's it. And of course, I didn't mention that you must be subscribed to my channel, okay? All right, now let's get to this. Let me lower this so you can see what I'm doing. Lower it some more. That looks about right. Okay, you know what? I'm going to plug in my... Let's check it to make sure there ain't nothing in it. I'm going to plug in my Ninja Foodie Extra Large Grill. I'm going to set it for air crisp for 400 degrees and for 10 minutes. It takes about 10 minutes for a fish and start. So right now it's just preheating. So while it's preheating I'll be seasoning my fish and I'll be using my breader bowl get this from Amazon. I'll leave a link in my description box, so look for it. I'll be using this Just Us by Shan fish breading. Okay, I've used her chicken breading, the spicy and the regular. And boy, is it good. So, I'm expecting this to be just as good. And I haven't um, been to her website lately to see if she's still selling this on there. It was a little while ago when she sent me this. Mm. Let me taste it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Taste good. Mm. I'm just going to put a little. Looks like it has a cornmeal texture. Season so good. Okay, this is how it comes packaged. On Amazon, they charge you too much to sh uh, ship it to you. They charge just as much as this costs. So you can either buy it from her website or Walmart, walmart.com. And the last time I checked, it was $7. And it's more than worth it. Because it's good, y'all. I tried the chicken. I don't think I've tried the fish yet. But if anything like the chicken, then yes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to. Season this this fish, even though the breading is seasoned, I always do extra. Y'all know me. Mm. Squirting in some yellow mustard. And some black pepper. I ain't putting no salt in it. When my honey sent me this 
automatic pepper grinder. I ain't got to turn nothing. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. That feels rich. <laughs> Ain't that something? Ain't that something? Ain't that something? And this is telling me this is ready. You just beat. It says add food. I'm just mixing this up. I usually have a blood one. Okay. Mixed up good. I'm going to drop it in here. I'm not going to overcrowd this bowl. Oh, I can put it all in here. Okay. It ain't that much fish, really. But I do have to clean my hand. Okay. Put the top on here. Make sure it's on here good. Hold the lid and shake. It's been a lazy day for us today. Bread it very well. Okay. Shake off the excess. I'm going to spray my basket. That's what I've been doing lately. This is olive oil. Take off the excess breading. You put the skin side down. Where's the skin? Can't see the skin. So, it'll still cook good. There's less chance of it to stick. Sometimes fish has a tendency to stick. Just the skin. Oh no. I got all this left. I had to throw it away. Uh uh, I'm gonna put this in a Ziploc bag and freeze it. I was putting just enough in there. Let me clean my hand again. And spray the fish with olive oil. I don't want to see no powdery flour. Okay, that's good. Let me show you how it looks in there. Okay, that's how it looks. I do have foil up under this uh, air fryer pan. So I just have to clean the air fry pan. I ain't got to clean this pan up under it. Close it, and it's going to pick up where it left off. It's going to air fry for four, at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. And I don't plan on flipping it. We're going to see. You have to watch your food. You can't just go by what people tell you. So the house is hot again. It's, it was 89 degrees in the house. So I got the air on and a bunch of fans. And I'm about to put, you know, I always put plastic up here. I have a plastic shower curtain that I cut in strips. Let me raise this some more. So you can see the top. Okay actually cut it in strips and I got hooks up here and I just used the shower curtain grommets to hang the shower curtain and the shower curtain is cut in strips like when you go into a, a meat freezer you got that plastic that's cut in strips so that's to keep the cold air in the living room and dining room and family room and keep the hot kitchen air in the kitchen okay blocked off the back door too, the back door area. 
So I got more shower curtains behind the beads in my family room back door area. So keep the cool air concentrated in where I want to have it. A lot of times y'all ask me, what is that? You got up there. Okay, so I will be back in seven minutes. I still got a little salad left. I have salad with me. Okay, bye. Okay, I got less than a minute, 17 seconds left. And people always ask me which air fryer do I like the best because I got many different brands, different brands and different sizes. <clears throat> okay, they all air fry very well and only a couple of them clean up well. Like my Kasori cleans up well and my Ninja air fryer cleans up well. But I tend to use this Ninja Foodie extra large grill more. I haven't used my air fryer since I got this grill because it air fries just as well as a regular air fryer. But it has more surface areas. It's got a long surface area for me to put my food in and spread out my food. But a regular air fryer has the basket. You only get so much surface area. So that's why I use this. But it don't mean I like this any better because they all air fry very well. Plus this is very uh, easy to clean up too. It's going to be... Let me lower this and we're going to see. This funny looking piece. See it browned on the other side. I don't want to drop it. That's the bottom. I didn't flip this. Let me get this pan. Now if I had a, a big piece of fish, then I would use a spatula to pick it up so it wouldn't tear up like a whole fish or a big long fillet. Use a spatula because you may break it or tear up because fish is tender. I'll turn this on the bottom side. Uh, uh, uh. Smells good. Curl that piece. It looks good. Okay. Oh, y'all didn't see what I was doing. I'm so sorry. Let me take this off. See, this is what I mean. It has more surface area where I can put in more food and spread it out so more air can get in between each piece. Okay? Rather than a square or a round shaped air fryer basket, you're going to have to crowd it more. Okay? And if you got a lot of pieces of food, you don't really have to use that air fryer basket. You can just put it right in this uh, black inner pan. Of course, the grease ain't going to drip away. But if you were um, deep frying it, the grease wouldn't be dripping away no way. You just put it on something to absorb the grease after it's done. Well, anyway, through with this. Turn it off. Unplug it. Push it back. Okay, this is my air fryer catfish.
and I had it skin side down to lessen the chance of it sticking. And I did spray the basket and I sprayed the fish. So this is a thumbnail. Okay. Here's my fish. I put my hot sauce on it. I'm going to pinch off a piece to taste it for y'all. Ooh, it's, hot. it's nice and moist and flaky like it's supposed to be on the inside. Crispy on the outside. I'm going to burn my mouth up. Nothing like fresh fish. I eat the frozen too sometimes. This is good. Mmm. Season perfectly. If I were to make a breading, it would taste like just the seasonings. Fish and chicken breading. Mmm. For real, for real. Mm. Okay. Put my salad in here and I'm going to eat. I got it sitting on a piece of bread. Okay. I'm sweating. Get out of this kitchen. Woo! Okay, I want to thank you all for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a nice comment and subscribe to my channel. And you all have a very blessed rest of the day. Bon appetit. Bye. I just want to add something. If for any reason you have air fried too much fish, go on and eat what you can eat. And put the rest up. Wrap it nicely. Put it in the refrigerator. And then when you get ready for it, put it back in the air fryer. And it will re rejuvenate, just like freshly air fried fish. It will still be nice and crispy. Put it in there for maybe four or five minutes. And you can spray it if you want to. Spray it lightly with some oil. It will be just like you just, just fixed it. Just a tip. Okay, bye for real now.